Hello everyone and welcome back to Allen Tech. Today we're going to be doing a little cell phone news. Some of it interesting, some of it uh, kind of scary. Okay, so the first story I have is from Engadget and it's about a new Samsung phone coming out. Uh, the next is about ZTE getting banned from doing business with American companies, and this one's kind of big for me. So we'll get to that one second. And I do apologize for looking down so much. I am using my MacBook, so I don't have any kind of fancy thing over here. Someday maybe I will figure all that out. But yeah, this is a really interesting phone from Samsung. And let's see if I can find its exact name. It is called the Galaxy J2 Pro, according to Engadget. And it has no 3G, 4G, LTE, or Wi-Fi modems in it. So it, in, in essence, has no internet by the phone itself. Um, it looks like, from what everybody's saying in the comments, that it'll probably get its updates and it'll probably get any apps and anything that you'd want to install through a computer connection. It's going to be about $185 in American. Um, $100. 99,100 Korean won. So I think it's mainly for a Korean market. Some people were saying that they're going to they're mainly focused towards students and then they'll be turning them in later for a cheaper version of one of the Samsung flagship phones. I don't understand how that would work and I don't see why. It does sport an AMOLED 4.9 inch screen. On the imaging, there is an 8 megapixel lens on the back, 5 megapixel selfie camera. So it'll be able to do everything except connect to the internet, like is what you would mainly have a smartphone for. Um, one person jokingly said that it's for your kid that doesn't want to look like they have a dorky phone, but they really have a dorky phone. So I really don't know what that one's um, aimed for. I'm, anybody out there have a use for a phone like this? Maybe there's a reason that y'all can think of for a phone like this. I don't really see it. I mean, if you don't want somebody to have internet connectivity, but you want them to have a decent-ish phone. It's a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core chip, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 26 milliamp battery, which should be enough. A quad HD. Super AMOLED, so that would be 1440, right? I think I'll have to look that up. But, yeah, that's just... It's not that... So in other news, and this one actually kind of hits me pretty big because I actually have a ZTE phone and I don't know how this is going to affect me. According to CNN Tech, U.S. hits major Chinese firm export with export ban. So in essence, um, from what I gathered from this article and a couple of others, is that ZTE will no longer be able to do business with American companies. It didn't really say when this is going to go into effect because I'm sure there's shipments and things going on right now that they can't stop. Essentially any US company ZTE can't do business with and supposedly this is in retaliation for ZTE doing business with Iran during international sanctions being involved. So I don't actually know much about international politics, probably should know more, but um, it, it's pretty pretty steep because one of the big things, and the article goes over this, is Qualcomm, which is an American company, supplies, and mine has a Qualcomm in it right now, it supplies most of the processor GPU packages for the ZTE smartphones. So most of their phones, if they can't do business with Qualcomm, it's just right out the door anyway. They'll have to find somebody else. And um, Another question, and that more affects my phone, is... Google is part of America, and I mean Google's housed in America, so that means so that means Google won't be able to do business with them directly. So that means they may start having uncertified versions of Android, which means also you can't get the Play Store. And it kind of I mean there's a couple of questions here. Y'all may be able to kind of elaborate on this more how this international stuff works, but they're kind of making it sound like that we might actually lose the Google Play Store just because uh, ZTE got banned from doing business with American markets. 
And if that happens, all my apps and everything that I have on there will pretty much go to nothing. And uh, getting any updates or anything like that from it will be next to impossible. So I've already started looking for a new phone. Um, the article kind of goes on to say that they're in damage control mode. They don't really know what to do. Um, this, I mean, if they can't find a new way to get processors or the other parts that they need, they could really be facing an out-of-business situation. Or they'll have to figure out something else that they can make in the meantime. So that's that's a big... One of the major cell phone companies, cell phone makers, I mean, they're pretty much in the budget market. So, I mean, mine was like $150, and I mean, I wouldn't be able to get it if it wasn't a little cheap phone. That's pretty brutal here. Not only that, the repercussions of businesses not being able to do business with ZTE. I mean, I imagine Qualcomm, I mean, they've got other people they supply chips to, but Qualcomm, I mean, they've... ZTE's got to be a, a fair part of their business. I don't know exactly how much, but that's going to be revenue lost for Z, uh, for Qualcomm and for America. So, and not to mention these others, they were saying that they even get some stuff from Microsoft and things like that. I don't know what they get, but it seems like a bold move, and I don't think it's being covered very much. Kind of worrying, especially if they can do that to just anybody. And I really don't know what the laws imply, because as far as I can tell, it's just a the Commerce Department saying, no, you can't do this. So I don't know if that is affected by laws or what laws are in place to say that they could do that. That they can just snap their fingers and no longer you can do that. So it's, it's very interesting to see. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there with ZTE phones. And they might have the same questions as me. Um, if anybody knows anything, feel free to talk down below. Yeah, what are y'all thinking about this? Because... Do you think the government can do this? I mean, there's a lot of, like, stuff being thrown about. Like, according to them, they were saying that they did business with Iran and ZTE said, oh, publicly said that they would take care of it and they would be reprimanded or whatever that is or whatever punishment would be put forward. And then supposedly, according to the Commerce Department, they actually gave the people bonuses that did the trading and things like that, so... I don't know, it sounds like a lot of shots fired kind of things. Like, I don't know what's real, what's not. Anyway, I'd like to hear what y'all think. Do you think it's justified for America to do that? Or, so, or do y'all think that they shouldn't be really messing with it? Or they shouldn't care? Should leave it up to the UN or something like that? I'd really like to know what y'all think. Anyway, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, listening to me. Um, love to hear anything y'all have got to say back. Um, if y'all would love to say anything back about the videos. I know the quality is a little bit bad right now. I've lost my shotgun mic and I don't know where it is. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. If you think what I do is worth your time and you would like to stick around, maybe get some notifications that I'm around, you can hit that red subscribe button down there. Thank you so much for the people who have already subscribed. It's awesome. I think I've finally found something that I can do on a more regular basis, even if it may not be as entertaining, but I'm hoping to find more entertaining stuff. So thank you all, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.